Hello Virgo, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for the week ahead whenever you clicked on the title at the time it intrigued you. Let me turn on a different light. Does that help? Maybe? Perhaps? It was uh, flashing in and out. All right, Taurus, or Virgo, we're going to start with uh, the message from your angels, guides, guardians, and ancestors. But before we begin that, just to let you know that I go live every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like some personal free cards pulled for you, join me in the house at that time on this channel. There's also perks over at the website free tarot card readings that are offered to members of the website as well as personal videos, quantum jumping, meditations, lots of perks for members and thank you to all of you who support me. So let's get on with your reading starting with the angelic message from your guides, guardians, angels and ancestors. And it's a bit contradictory to what is showing up here this would show more of whatever obstacles and challenges you might be facing. But here's what the universe wants you to know. You're in uh, the realm of creating, manifesting. Heart of the sky is where planets are born out of the Milky Way. And it looks like you're in the midst of creating something quite magical. This is part of your destiny or with the help of your counsel. The council are those angels that you have planned out a course for your mission in this world. Also, who you gather with after you leave this world to review it and how far you have come. Hash Mama. This is Gaia or Mother Earth surrounding you, protecting you, loving you, keeping you grounded and stable and the final card is witness so this is this witness card almost indicates to me uh, the energy as we go into the this spread here uh, whether it is in the 3d realm or in the upper realms all you have done has been witnessed and there is about sorry that's my dog there is about to take place someone on your behalf speaking up on your behalf whether in the spiritual realm or in the earthly realm but as above so below what happens on earth happens in heavens in the heavens looking at this spread though it's almost like in true virgo sense or true virgo energy because we see you ascending here with the six of air moving to those calmer waters that angelical drift um, so calming you don't feel the water moving the boat but it is an ascension away from barrenness into calmer places messenger earth is actually Virgo energy this is about going slow making sure that each step you take is the correct step forward. And I think this has to do with your witness. There, Ace of Earth is about blessings that come to you from heaven, a new beginning in money, in love, both. This is a blessing coming towards you. And I think too, it's because you are going through that, okay, heart of the sky, that creative energy, uh, ascending taking the right steps <clears throat> now herein lies the confusion because we have three of air and seven of air sandwiching the queen of fire so you could be dealing with an Aries not necessarily but the energy is fiery confident uh, this is often my entrepreneur card this person is attractive um, you could be being at the heart of the reading this is about someone you're thinking about or this could be you taking on this energy attracting moths to the flame desired 
But on these two sides, it's there's someone who broke your heart and someone who is being deceptive. Maybe the same person. Down here, we have an ending. Delays being over. And you putting down your burdens. Like, enough is enough. Four fire is about partnerships. So for some of you, you might be ending a relationship. Some of you, your relationship may be ascending to a higher level of commitment. Or possibly this person is the cause of you moving into a new partnership or an improvement of a partnership. There is something that you're cutting out here though, or you do eventually cut it out. But at this point here, we're seeing deception, envy perhaps, possibly a three-party situation, too many cooks in the kitchen, <laughs> a person that hurt you. But as we see down here, you're laying down your burdens. It is coming to an end. This this pain or deception um, either comes to light or you're just ending it. It could be a behavior that is ending. Interesting that the four fire here it is all about foundations, partnerships. Let's clarify these. Movement, choices, and decisions. So yeah, there's going to be Talk about a complicated crossroads. You've got four choices here. But through these choices, you're making movement. Going to higher levels of understanding. Let's crack these cards. Bottom of this deck, we have destiny. Definitely destiny is in play because of your angelic message going into creative mode. That magical moment of action is of course in the now in the present messenger of earth is being clarified by emo emotional loss so it could be some of you who have had emotional loss are going very very slowly towards a, a new relationship but wanting to take it slow because of past hurts and regrets shadow <clears throat> Pisces energy you may be having a new beginning with a Pisces or what is being revealed to you you never noticed before something of a treasure uh, so I, I would wager a guess that this blessing hasn't come in for you yet from uh, spirit world but it is going to be revealed to you during this time of emotional loss third eye chakra <clears throat> so perhaps you were blocked in your vision because it's landing on the three of swords so for many of you it's like yep there was a third party uh, that got involved in a relationship hurtful uh, maybe some of you were in denial about it or the other person was in denial about it needing to unblock that third eye to have a better inner vision of what your value is and where your destiny lies. Discontent and boredom, the heart of your reading. So maybe this person has just always dazzled you and that's wearing off. Disruption, deception, envy, and now disruption. You're ending something here, Virgo. Prosperity begins when you lay these burdens down. Harmony. For far, you are moving towards um, a twin flame. Whatever happened up here was just like a stepping stone. Either that or this breakup is going to cause the two of you to wake up in a, in a very measurable way. To make a commitment no third parties just the two of you harmonizing gemini energy ten of air spiritual strength 
It was hard for you to end a situation, but it's given you a lot of spiritual strength. And I think through this, Virgo, you're going to have doors opening to the witness, the witness bringing in the blessing, seeing what you have worked at, what you have, I mean, most importantly, that you stay within your integrity, within your values, your morals, and all will come to bless you as the result. So let's ask the angels about your love life and what advice they may have for you. What is going on for Virgo in love and what is the advice? You have met your soulmate. All right. Could be Virgo in some of your cases. You met your soulmate, but you, you were attached to someone else. Free yourself. It's time to take control of your life. This could be about freeing yourself from old negative energies that have been lingering around from past heartaches. Religious factors. What is your destined path? What is their destined path? Your love life is influenced by your upbringing. It would be better for you to explain that one in your own personal life, whether it's good or bad. We all have a destiny. As I had said earlier, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And there is a strong magnetic attraction between the two of you. Rather goes without saying if you're with a soulmate. Your love life is being affected by children. Either you have children or they have children. Perhaps you act like children when you're together. Or you've lived past lifetimes with them. If that resonated for you at all, Virgo, do hit the like. Look at this though. Harmony. You're about to meet if you haven't met them already. We have a twin flame connection here. Everything you need to know about the channel and website is in the description below. Join us Wednesdays or Sunday nights for interaction, one-on-one, -on -one, pulling free cards for you. God bless you, Virgo, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.